So that is Skull Kid. His real name is Skull Kid. I like to call him the little shit. Because he summons these puppets endlessly. Oh, okay. They do not give you a break. I hated this section. It was painful. And by painful, I mean it was a big pain. I actually like this section. It's kind of run away from the puppets. Well, I hated it because I couldn't figure out what to do. I was stuck here for like three hours. Yes, I got lost in here for an hour. But I think everyone gets lost in here. The problem is that every time you hit him, then there's a larger area open, so there's like more space that you have to go through, and all the rooms but like. He's in the new area. Well, yes, but it, sometimes it's difficult to find the new area. Like I think one of the last parts, there's like this huge like platform and thing that's really that's kind of hard to get to if you're not. Uh, I, if you're me. It's called you. You watch the camera pans from your location. And I think I went here too uh, early. Exactly. Keep in mind, I'm not exactly the best gamer. Keep in mind, I'm very good at spatial relationships. I'm I just directionally challenged when I try and tell people where things are in relation to all the things. I think I'm a so in other words, you can find directions yourself, but you have trouble communicating them to others. I have trouble communicating them with, to others without a diagram. Ah. Eating one battery. I, I make a Eating five batteries. What? Oh, strong bad email. English paper, that one. Yeah, you have to be paying very... And as you can see, I was actually paying attention to that this time. I'm sorry. That was my knee. Sorry, that was my knee. Oh, my knee. Yeah, anyway, so there, so you can see the Skull Kid up there, but you can't get to him from here. You have to go somewhere else. You have to go to the place where I was went just a couple minutes ago, but I went there too early. And by this time, I'm getting extremely tired of those puppets. Don't we all? Hmm. <laughs> Fortunately, if you, if you like, don't kill them, but instead, like, go somewhere where they can't follow you, then they will, it'll be a while before new ones come. You know, this was a good game, but I thought it went on way too long. I thought it was a good length, personally. I kind of preferred the, um, the length of, uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was supposed to be longer. Yeah, you, you, I think we've had, we had this discussion last session. Now, fortunately, this time Skull Kid does not have the power to make the moon fall on your head. 
person also has a freaky neck. He does have a freaky face and a freaky doll. I don't, things. I don't mind his face. I have a like. The face isn't what bothers me. It's his constant summoning of these stupid puppets. Well, I don't have to deal with it right now either. I dealt with it already. Oh, wait, no, but you do have to... No, oh, there is a later section. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not sure why he kept getting away from me, like, what I was doing differently when I... Oh, I guess maybe you have to, like, kill all the puppets and then hit him right away. Yeah, I think that's what it was, because he, like... His trumpet apparently doubles as a leaf blower. Yeah. Which would be handy at this time of year. I mean, like, I would come out of my building and... You know, I go out early to, to exercise, and, like, you could not see the, the front the front walk, because it was just covered in leaves. So, yeah, that's the last hit. Wait, does he have a leaf for a cape? I didn't notice yeah. that. Oh, cute. He also has a black mage hat. I don't think you can fit them in there. Your mom told me to put them in there. Don't say that much, Are you sure she didn't meet the other freezer? We have like three freezers. She pointed in here, so this is the one we have. We have way too many freezers. <laughs> Yes, I frankly did not want to bother with this thing, so I just used my guide. I, oh, I really like this puzzle. So this puzzle took me so long to figure out. That was really fun, but I'm also the kind of person who loves light stuff. So I don't know. It didn't really take me that long. Okay, listen. He doesn't hit the high note. I don't think wolves quite have the, you know, all of the vocal subtleties that humans do. But you think you'd be able to take a sing up. You don't hit the note underneath. He doesn't hit the note underneath the high note either. Well, I think you should have. Yeah, you're right, he doesn't. No. That's that's later. Sorry, I'm trying to be as ambiguous as possible. Oh, Nintendo Capri son, he kept like saying, "Why is everyone so interested in my rod?" <laughs> anyway, so one of the statues will move in the same direction as you do, the other will move in the opposite direction. Of course, they won't move if they don't have any room. So you want to get them back on those two marked platforms. And if you jump so that one of them, like, smushes you, then you have to start over. Or if you jump off. Oh, I forgot that you could jump off. <laughs> I did that a couple times. Yeah, you can also just reset by, I think, by talking to them. And I think you would have to reverse the directions in the GameCube version because... Or maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. Probably. They flipped everything, which I think is kind of stupid. I think everyone thinks it's stupid. You can use the same directions. It's just which statue moves which way in relation to you is reversed. Yeah. But, like, you can use the same directions. It just puts... It doesn't get the statues down regardless. 
Well, no, no, but the statues would... But the one that moves in the opposite direction from you would be in the other position. So I don't. I think you would have to reverse the directions. Well, it's also symmetric. Mm -hmm. so. That is true. Well, he's saying that the one in the bottom tip would be the. Well, no. Yeah. All it would do is just kind of do the same thing, but. Wait, no, no. I, I, yeah, I guess you wouldn't have to switch the directions. Because because of the way they start, it would be the same statue either way. Yeah, you're right. Position. It's just, it is um, reversed as per the starting point. Press the map and over here. Anyway, this sword is kind of important. I played the GameCube version too. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I really... And there's one mining ice over there. I'm using a flathead screwdriver and a hammer trying to allow the freezer to open. Use, use a, um, use a stone pickaxe. Okay, notice this. He already has the scabbard for the Master Sword when he pulls it out. Because he needed to get it from somewhere. But I just think it's funny that he already has it when he pulls out the sword. Yeah, that's a garage door again, which probably means my dad is back with sushi, which probably means we're going to take a break, which was actually very good timing. All right, so, yeah, this is the thing that cursed Lincoln made him into a wolf. But now Midna has a good idea. That's Plus, not. Him turn him into a wolf. That's the thing that prevented him from turning back into Link when he was back in the realm of light. Well, apparently it works both ways. No, no. See, when Link is in contact with that, it is a piece of the Twilight Realm. So he's when someone Link is in contact with it, he turns into a wolf. But when it is removed, then he turns back into a person. Whatever. And you can also use it to warp around, because in wolf form, you can warp. Yes, this is important. You cannot warp unless you are in wolf form, which means if for some reason you can't transform into a wolf, you cannot warp. Yes, and that's the garage door again, in case you're wondering. It's like it's trying to speak to us. Anyway, so from this point on, you can transform between wolf and human as long as there are no people or people equivalents around. Which version do you prefer playing as? Like, do I prefer playing as human or wolf, you mean? Yeah, like, which one, like, ignoring all the extra upgrades or whatever, which do you think has the best kind of core gameplay? I prefer human. I kind of like the wolf, like, the B button attack that lets you charge up and... You have multiple enemies and stuff. I think that's kind of cool. Once again, I'm not sure what I was doing here. I really should have checked more carefully and cut these. I'm not sure what I was doing. Oh, maybe I was trying to save. Yeah, so, I mean, as a wolf, you take double damage, which is always a big disadvantage. Really? I never noticed that. I never noticed that either. Yeah, I think I think the reason for that is because Link is actually wearing like chainmail under his tunic. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, are apparently very much smarter than both of us. Of course, granted, you're a law student, so that's kind of a given. Well, it, 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 you also take more damage in the beginning of the game when you're farm boy Link. You're not you, wearing your armor. Oh, really? No, I'm not. I'm not you sure. Don't even notice because the enemies don't do much damage. To you, Wait, you do? I didn't notice that. I mean, it would make sense. I didn't notice that, though. Well, yeah, it's, it's just hard to notice because you get so much damage. Buggies! Buggies! Yes, snail. Snail's not technically a bug, though. Whatever. Snails are awesome. Gastropods. You like Can gastropods, yeah, Sean. Yes. Slugs and snails are awesome, okay? Anyway, 
we are going to take a break now because I know that my parents are probably going to call me for dinner and I don't want that to be on the recording. So we will be back we will be back either in the next video or in a few seconds, depending on how the recording goes. Bye. Okay. Enjoy your Thanksgiving sushi.